In the next few moments from now, I'm going to be showing you how to create content for the keywords of your choice ready for top Google rankings, and to achieve such results I'll be using data provided by none other than Google itself. I will also be showing you how to properly create an authority website keyword blueprint within minutes, something that some SEO service providers charge thousands of dollars for. So just before I dive into things, I would like to make it perfectly clear that this is not about choosing the best keyword to target and it's nothing like your regular suggestions or keyword planner tools we've all seen out there. Instead, this is about how to take your already chosen keyword and get it ranked high on the first page of Google, something that doesn't usually get covered. And by the end of this video, you too will know exactly what you need to do to get your content ranked high on page one of Google for the keywords of your choice. Okay, so let's get started. Keyword Genetics is a lightweight, simple to use application that works with two core scripts. Let's begin with the first one and see what it can do. I will start by entering the keyword I want to rank for and then click start. For this example, I want to rank for acne treatment. Keyword Genetics will now query Google and then visit the top 10 pages that Google is ranking for the keyword that I want to rank for. It will then cross-reference each of the 10 pages with one another and then bring back keywords and key phrases that are commonly used by each of the sites. The process usually takes between 30 to 60 seconds to complete, so I'll pause the video and be right back to show you exactly how special this information actually is. Okay. As you can see, we now have a list of keywords and key phrases that are commonly used on each site that is ranking on the first page of Google for acne treatment. We can see how many times the keywords and key phrases have actually been used. I will sort them by most used so that we can see the most common and popular ones towards the top. In the single keywords field, I see keywords such as skin, acne, health, treatment, care, face, symptoms, treat, conditions, medical, stress, breakouts, pause, scars, and so many more. These are the words that build up the theme of my targeted keyword. And should I want to rank for acne treatment, then I need to include such terms in my own content. In the past, optimization was all about adding your targeted keyword to your page title, adding it to your headings, adding it to your image alt tags, and even underlining or making them bold. But if we do this today, then we could be faced with an over-optimization penalty, something that we all need to avoid. Keyword Genetics has just reverse engineered and identified semantically related keywords used by the top 10 sites that Google is ranking themselves. All we need to do now is filter, save, and hand over the file of our saved keywords to our writers, asking them to include as many of the keywords as possible in a naturally written manner. With this knowledge, we can feel rest assured that we are getting content that is destined for top Google rankings. In the display grid, we can select the words we want to save, delete, or add them to the ignore list. By adding words to the ignore list, you can be sure the software will not return the word the next time it's run. The software also pulls back two word phrases, three word phrases, and four word phrases. And in the settings tab, you can fine tune the software and really get precise. Now we'll move over to the second script. This script will really help you understand how Google groups words based on their relationship and how we can be sure we never send Google mixed signals. The data received from this script can be used to form complete authority website keyword blueprints. Again, we will only be using data provided by Google itself to form website categories and supporting articles just the way Google wants us to. In this example, let's say I want to create a website about chocolate. I will now enter two keywords in the text box, chocolate and white chocolate and hit start. I will explain shortly why I added two keywords. The software is now getting words directly from a special Google feature that tells us exactly what Google associates with our keywords. And as I've set it to perform a full analysis, the software will also get us suggested articles to go inside of them categories. It takes about 30 seconds to complete. Okay, so let's take a look at the results. From the two keywords I entered, Google has given us the following. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate truffles, white chocolate, chocolate gifts, chocolate bars, and many more. 
So if you wanted an authority site in the chocolate niche, then these are your categories right here, as given by Google themselves. And if I click any one of the key phrases, then we can see that the software has also included article titles to go inside of the categories. So if we had a category called milk chocolate, then we have suggestions such as milk chocolate chip cookies, milk chocolate brownies. And for the chocolate gifts category, we have titles such as chocolate gifts for him, chocolate gifts under 10 bucks, chocolate gifts by mail, and many more. This information is perfect for silo structured sites and sites that want to be sure they are sending all the right relevancy signals to Google. After the search is complete, you just save the details over. You now have a complete website blueprint that is very relevant and tightly grouped around your keyword theme, exactly the way Google wants it. Now let me show you what happens if I enter just the one keyword, like chocolate, into the text box. OK, so now we have words such as chocolate, cookies, coffee, food, cheese and more. And the reason Google has given us this data is because we were not being specific. The word chocolate itself can be grouped with many different sets of words. In this example, Google has grouped chocolate with edible items. Now I will show you the same example, but this time I'll add chocolate and cream. Now we have words such as chocolate, cream, blue, red, pink, green and more. So this time Google has grouped chocolate with colours. So the reason I entered two keywords was to help Google send me the correct group of semantically related words that I wanted. And sometimes we need to enter more than two keywords in order to get the correct semantically grouped words that we want from Google. Search engines are so much smarter than what they used to be. And if you want to rank high for the keywords of your choice, then it's very important that you're using semantically related keywords in your content. The software has many more features, such as having the ability to run whilst minimize. It's multi-threaded. You can choose the Google location of your choice. In addition, it supports proxies and comes with free updates for the full year. It also comes with our full 30-day money-back guarantee, a PDF user guide, along with video tutorials. I only hope I have clearly demonstrated how powerful this tool is by giving Google exactly what it wants and for placing your content and websites in a favourable place for top Google rankings. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you on the inside. My name is Abbas Ravji.